Welcome back everyone to the point and click community. We are the people with no to limited IT experience. Today we installed the Firefox web browser on my Windows 11, just as I have on my Windows 10 machines. A little history about web browsers, and this is not about Firefox. If you still were around in the mid 90s, there was a big lawsuit in Europe going on about how they delivered their Internet Explorer at that time. And competitors had big problems to be competitive because it was so integrated in their operating system. At home, I use all kinds of different browsers, uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and Firefox. At work, we use Firefox because we can change the settings however we want. And you will see this in this video and how easy it is to install the Firefox now, especially the newest version made it so easy. Microsoft seems to make it really annoying again to install other browsers. Like you can see, I'm gonna try to install Google Chrome on here. The first thing you see after you open in your Edge and search for the download for the Chrome, it shows you you have already blah, 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 the browser, this is ridiculous. We are getting to the Firefox in a minute. I just wanted to demonstrate real quick how different it is when you install a browser like the Chrome or maybe even the Opera on your Windows 10 or especially 11. It got even worse than 11 like I do here. Hold on. Now the install goes without a problem here, but we have after the install, we have to make it our default browser because we like it as a default browser, right? And that's where it starts. So we select settings and here we go, make default browser. What happens now is our default apps pop open here from, from our operating system. I have to click on Microsoft Edge and change it to Google Chrome. And then it asks me again, you see that? If I really wanna do that, it's like, well, they really don't want you to use any other browser. I'm not saying there's that the Edge browser is a bad browser. It's just like, why you make it so complicated for us? Now let's install Firefox. And to do this, I open the Edge. Remember, I made the Google Chrome my default browser. Now, just to see what will happen when I open the Edge again and try to search for the Firefox. Now it tells me already, it recommends I use the Edge. So it noticed, hey, I'm not your default browser. Please set me as a default browser. This is like asking you 10 times or 20 times, please subscribe and like my video. Really, I'm seriously, please hit like on this video. And here again, it tells me I already use Microsoft Edge when I'm looking for Firefox. This is just ridiculous what they did. Okay, so let's install it. Now, it lets me pin it right away to my start bar. Here I can set it as a default browser right away. Nothing else pops up. I can import all my stuff from Edge or Google Chrome or from wherever. Nicely done. Now I just select what it should look like. I select the dark theme and here we go. Now, like they say, seeing is believing. To verify that my Firefox browser is now my default browser, I open uh, my downloads folder. I save the web address in there, a shortcut to a web address, and I will click on it and see if Firefox opens. 
Now let's take a look at our settings in this browser and I'm not talking about advanced settings. We get to this next week. Let's click on the little gear wheel here so we get the first options we can set up. I don't say too much to it. I'm just gonna set it up so it's convenient for me. You do it however you like it. There's nothing you can break in here. And I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want a lot on my startup screen. So let's disable this and I disable the next one also. Now that looks perfect for me already. Now let's click on more settings and here we have more settings. Oh, why is it on home? Well, let's start in general. It automatically came to home. So you go through the general options you have in like I said, just set them how you like your Firefox to behave in the future. I'm not going into explaining what all these options do. You can play around with it, enable, disable them, try other stuff, and you will see what you like best. There is nothing you can destroy in here. Next week we will take a look in the advanced options because we can further customize our Firefox. I know all the IT guys say, oh, everybody knows how to do this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we are at the point and click community here and we don't know everything. We just play around with it. So right now, don't go and play too much around. Well, go ahead, install Firefox. You won't regret it and play around with it. It's a real great browser. And I hope you'll be back next week when we go and play around with the advanced option. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. It really helps me out. I hope I see you next week. Thank you for watching.